Well, South Carolina's high school sports league unveiled new guidelines today. Right now, phase one means students and coaches with pre-existing conditions should not play. Daily temperature and health screens will be in effect. Folks should wear face masks when not actively playing and keeping locker rooms closed. Athletes will have to change at home, so basically just get ready at home. Well, 2020 hasn't been the year for a lot of things. A lot of things have happened in 2020 thanks to the COVID-19 and just other natural events. One thing a lot of kids are missing more than ever, though, of course, the chance to play sports. Fox Killing is Carrie Weimer live and easily where they're bringing back youth sports and how they plan to get the ball rolling on this. Hey, Carrie. Hey, I see what you did there, Cody. I love it. So it's not just professional sports that have been affected by the coronavirus this year. Right here in the upstate, youth sports have also had to take quite the time out. I'm, I'm ready to see some people walk through the gates here at J.B. Red Owens. Greg Powell, the director of Parks and Recreation for the city of Easley, says he misses sports more than most. I'm going on my 32nd year here with the city. Uh, this, this has been my life. Sports is my life. It's really been a weird situation for the last two, three months. Here in Easley, they tell me they're tired of watching reruns. They want to see the real thing. And that's just what they will be getting. The city has just announced fall registration would soon be starting for most of the youth sports. We're thrilled to be able to see our rec department opening up all the fields and letting our youth come back in and start playing again. Powell says things may look a little different than normal because we are still in the midst of a pandemic. We have to monitor who comes in and out. Every person that comes through the gate for practices and games, we have to have their phone number, their address, their name. The city's public information officer says the community also has a responsibility. We want to put a lot of trust in our community to make sure that they do have the protection equipment on, that they do wash their hands, they do bring sanitizer with them. We're only allowing basically about 50 people at the practices, one parent per child at the practices, and then the games were looking at about a hundred. Now registration for most sports will open up on June 1st. There are a couple of exceptions to that rule, one being volleyball and the other is indoor basketball. So if you have a little one that wants information on how to play, just contact the Easley Parks and Re Recreation Department right here in Easley. I'm Carrie Weimer, Fox Carolina, the 5 o'clock news. Carrie, thanks. Good to see sports starting to get back in action. A lot of kiddos wanting to get out, get back to their normal lives. Thanks so much.